Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this little mini squeeze top box. So this is the one that I showed, showed you how to make the other day, and now we're gonna make the little mini size. Here's the supplies. This is Boho Blue cardstock, and this measures four by six and a half. We've got a scrap of basic white. I've gone ahead and stamped that image just to save some time. We've got a scallop circle here. This is from a die, a set of dies that is retiring um, very soon, but I'm gonna keep using them. <laughs> um, okay, so your designer series paper measures two and seven eighths by one and seven eighths, and then two and seven eighths by seven eighths. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp our image. We're using Boho Blue ink and the Zany Zoo stamp set is the one that has this uh, birthday greeting. Since I've already cut it out, we'll just pretend that I just used the stamping cut and emboss machine. This is using the stylus shaped dies. So let's set these over here and let's go ahead and make the box. Okay, we're gonna place it on the four inch side and we're going to score it at one inch on both sides. So flip it around one inch. On the six and a half inch side, you're gonna score it at three inches and six inches and then flip it over. So I'm just gonna flip it up and we're going to score um, at one and a half to that first score line and then um, four and a half to that first score line, okay? We're gonna fold on all the score lines and burnish with our bone folder. The next step is we're going to remove these corners And then we're going to, this is the bottom, so we're gonna cut up to the score line on each of these. Okay, the next step, we wanna get our stylus and a ruler. And what we're gonna do is make a score line from here to this score line there, and then from here to here. So just like the bigger box, And then this side. And we're gonna do that same thing on the back. So that's how it looks right now. The next thing we're gonna do is get our paper ready, the designer series paper. So I'm gonna take this paper and just pinch the top ever so slightly. So I'm folding it in half and just pinching the top. That's gonna to give me the place where I'm going to cut. So here's the paper trimmer. I'm gonna put that corner in the track and this corner in the track and I'm gonna cut. Okay, this is one piece. Then I'm gonna flip this over and cut again. So again, I'm putting that in the track, putting this in the track, and cutting. And if we did that correctly, it'll fit on the front of the box. Okay, so we're gonna fold it like this. So this is gonna be the front of my box. So that's gonna go there. This one's gonna go here and this one here. So I'm just gonna get some liquid glue. When I made this, uh, the larger one the other night, someone asked, couldn't I put the paper on before I assembled the box? Absolutely, and it will probably make it a lot easier putting the paper on now.
if you watched um, the larger version, I did make uh, this one on camera that night. My measurements for the designer series paper did change. And so those measurements will be um, provided on this video and on the blog post, okay? Okay, so I've got this half inch um, edge right there and I'm gonna add the tear and tape. And then I just want to tear that. And then I'm gonna use my take your pick tool to remove the backing. And then we're just gonna fold this down and fold that over. And that lines that up perfectly, okay? So now, what we're gonna do, and I did the same thing I did on the live video, is I forgot to fold on those score lines that we made, but that's okay, it'll work its way out um, when we make the box, or when we assemble it. So what I'm gonna do is push this in and this in, and then we're gonna add our adhesive to these two, okay? So I'm just gonna add tear and tape. So you wanna add adhesive uh, to the ones parallel to each other, okay? Yeah, so note to self, those score lines that we made fold on them before you add the paper. Okay, so I'm just using my bone folder to make that stick. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. I got a little extra glue there. Okay, and if you don't assemble this straight, kind of like what I just did, you can always use your scissors and cut that extra off. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Again, I'm gonna lie this flat on my desk and use the bone folder to press that really good and make sure that it's working. And it does, right? It stands, it closes. Yeah, and now let's open it. Perfect. So some candy that will fit in here. We're gonna open it up. This is yummy, yummy candy, and that will fit in there perfectly, okay? So that's one of those will fit. And let's see, will three of these fit? Yeah, three will fit of that. And then the high chews, I'm not sure they will fit. Do they? Well, that's one in there. Not really, okay? But this and the Dove chocolate works perfect. So now let's finish this um, project. So we're gonna add this strip up at the top. Whoops. Okay, I'm gonna add the circle to the scallop circle with liquid glue. Now the stylus shape dies, which cut this circle out, those are sticking around, but the, the scallop circles, which is in the layering circles, that is retiring. Okay, I'm gonna tie a bow with the boho ribbon. There's that. Our embellishment are the in color dots. They will be in the new catalog. So I'm using a Stampin' Dimensional to add the birthday greeting. And then a mini glue dot for the ribbon. and then our embellishment, and we will be done. I'm gonna change the location this time and put it right in the middle. You can put it anywhere. Well, I say in the middle, but <laughs> there we go. Okay, so here's the two little ones. 
And then here is the larger one. So quite a size difference, but so cute, right? Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. There will be a free PDF over on my website also. Have a great day. Bye.